Victoria Rose. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Santa Marta, Colombia. And today I'm going to take you in a day in the life of me in, in Santa Marta. Um, this isn't a typical day in the life because I don't have a typical day in the life. I explore and travel. It's like three something in the morning right now and we're in the airport flying to Santa Marta from the I'm really tired. It is so nice traveling with other people. I'm just kind of just following them. I always travel alone, always by myself. But um, going on a flight with other people, it's really, it's really nice. We made it here in Santa Marta. It was about a, a hour flight, and it's pretty warm and it's pretty hot it's now. It's humid, but um, it's very pretty. My, my life is all over the place all the time, but this is a day in the life in Santa Marta. Sorry if you can hear all the dogs. I'm in, in a mansion right now. Isn't this cold that I'm like silhouetted? It's really hot here. Um, do you want to come with me? It's a bit of a journey away from here from the city. We're gonna find a couple of beaches there, which I hear are very beautiful. And there's not a lot of people because you have to hike a lot to get to the beaches. So I'm just gonna show you my day, let's go. So I, I went from Medellin to Santa Marta. I had to fly there, but I didn't get any sleep because I had to leave at three in the morning. We got here and we spent the whole day like at the beach and doing things like that. Trying to sell things here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is going to be a day in my life. Basically, I didn't have any time to do any filming today. Also, I forgot to bring proper shorts, but I got up, got ready really, really fast. Not my best day. I didn't make a bed. I didn't do anything fancy. Now we have to go out. I feel like I'm going to vomit because I'm so tired. It's like uh, 7 in the morning. It's already getting really hot. It was like for a quick second, I was like... It was a whole minute or three I was like, what if me. I just don't? <laughs> what if I just keep sleeping? <laughs> Gotcha. Okay, yeah, no, we decided uh, not to cause, just because we have some other people. Yes, it's eh, for, 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 for. Entra, yo te llevo hasta entra. No tienes que esperar más rápido. Y vas a entra. Yo te dejo allá. Sí, pero solo para taxi. Sí, solo para taxi, 16. We have to queue for a bit. We got to figure it out. We paid him 100 for the taxi. 100 million. I got this huevo, which is an egg, something, and it was like, that's something like, yeah, it was like, that's what I like, yeah. Usually you don't see the behind the scenes, but like, the behind the scenes of what it takes to get into cool places is much more boring than, that's why you don't see it, but you have to like stand in line, so you have to pay a bunch of different fees, you have to take taxis to the places, it takes hours and hours and hours, and that's the part that you don't see when people are traveling, it's hard to get to the locations, especially by yourself. It's nice to be in a group. I'm with Wi-Fi, so we're all doing all this together. 
but it's um, by myself it'd be hard, especially when you don't speak the language. But there's a lot more that goes into traveling and stuff than what you see on travel videos. It's time consuming. It's a lifestyle. Finally through and it's like an hour and a half hike to the first beach. So this is some actual hiking. Um, I never hike. Point of view, you're hiking with me. Nadanes del Baños. That's the one thing I haven't had to learn how to say because I always have to go to the bathroom. But, um. So guys, so we got horseback to the first beach. I haven't um, done horseback for a very long time, so it's quite nice. The horse is um, not trained very well, <laughs> so. What is that? That was a very interesting sound. It's a monkey? I didn't know they had monkeys here. Hola. Hola. It's a monkey. It's a monkey. It's a monkey. Ah, 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 ah. Come on. So we're headed to the beach now. It, was a, it wasn't too long of a ride, um, but it helps. Because it's kind of a far walk. Look his background. Like what? It's super hot, so it's really hot. I really have to pee. But this, this. It's amazing. It's like Jurassic Park. Beautiful, that is. This is so much better than the other beach, and nobody's trying to sell you anything. <laughs> Literally here at Jurassic Park, I'm waiting to see a dinosaur. The monkey sounded like one, but this is. Yeah, and I'm like hot and bothered, like I can't even do anything before I go into the water. And if you touch my back, like Coco. Like, there's a big drop off right there, and it'll just pull you right in. And I'm not a good swimmer, so I'm gonna stay here to near right here. You're not really supposed to climb the rocks, but I might. <laughs> it's really not, but I've gotten a lot of sun. We're heading to the next beach, which is about when I would walk through the forest. So whenever they're walking through the forest, I don't know if we'll see this or not. But there was monkeys. We missed the monkeys because we rode, we rode on the horses. Like be inside. Look how green it is. The Caribbean. I it was too. I mean, it was good body. Absolutely gorgeous here. You can find everything like palm trees, tropical trees, animals. Just really, really, really need to find the elusive monkeys. I really want to see them. This is amazing. Guys, this is the place to be. Like the virus, like the virus. Yeah. 
you guys can go on. I'm just gonna look at these for a little while. rent out these hammocks here for the night and stay here overnight up in this thing. It feels so sticky and gross right now. I'm so tired. So there's not a lot of options to get back unless we want to walk for two to four hours um, hiking back. So we got a boat. Literally no other way off out of this beach. Our ride is here. Violated, but not in like a bad way. Want to adopt a dog from here so bad? back home now. I'm tired. I got a very quick shower. My hair is still all salty and everything. I always try not to get my hair wet, but that was inevitable. Best thing ever though. I can't even explain. I know I keep saying it, but it was amazing. But look at this. Sorry, I'm not trying to flash you, but look at that burn. Look at that. I don't ever burn and I wore sunblock the whole day. The sun's intense here. It's all like on my back too. But we're gonna go and find some food now, so this is, you know, at the end of the day. everything I feel like in life now. Um, didn't get to see the monkeys though, so I'm still very sad about that, but right, it's been a day. It's been, it feels like it's been more than a day. I am exhausted three times over. Um, when I'm traveling this time, I have not brought really anything. I didn't bring lotion, and I, always, I wear lotion every single day. And like, look, like the one time I really, really need it, I'm so burnt. I really like this um, Lacombe makeup, but I completely ran out, so I don't have any more any, and I can't find any in South America. So it is an SPF 23. It has hydraulic acid in it, and it's just a moisturizing tint. It's not a tint. 
tint selling the foundation. I don't really like the word foundation anymore. If he's interested in this, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I always have to rush to get ready. And I'm over it. I'm done. Goodbye. Alright, so I am back in Medellin. Um gonna leave here again in a couple in a few days to go to the next destination, which um I will reveal in the next video. That was kind of a day in my life type of video. It's like I said, it's always different. You never know what the day will bring um, when you're traveling 24 seven, but I hope you enjoyed that. And I really enjoyed Santa Marta. I highly recommend it. Of course, in the city and stuff, just be careful, but the, the park was so beautiful. It made me, it filled my soul. Anyways, stay extraterrestrial and I'll see you in the next video.